Black, there you go. So yeah, and then press it again. That's a good sign. Chapter six is titled Readings and Performances. You've just heard a reading from Nancy Dew Taylor, so now it's time for a performance. Here to set the stage, so to speak, is John Greer, the composer of the unique series of six songs that you're about to witness. And they're unique. They're collectively called Voices from the Village. John. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. Uh, it was a great event. It's a terrific organization. As an artist myself, I really appreciate deeply the work that this group has done and will do in the future. It's really terrific. The composer is only as good as his performers, and I'm very fortunate in this city full of great performers to have here tonight two of Greenville's very best performing my music. It's true I wrote the notes but the artistry that brings them to life in a way that is much greater than the sum of the notes is owed entirely to pianist Vivian Hamilton and singer-actress Mimi Weish. My heartfelt thanks to both. Whereas I usually have a specific concert or request from performers in mind when I compose, this piece is unusual in that I did it simply because it amused me. I remember seeing, by chance, in a local paper, a woman seeking man personal ad that went along a fairly ordinary matter until the end, at which point the writer stipulated that she wanted, quote, no moralists and no Democrats. <laughs> Another ad said, I'm a lot of fun to be around. My dead husband always said so, and he ought to know. <laughs> I thought, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> so the idea was born. In the end, I didn't use either of those, and I sifted through hundreds more women seeking men personal ads. My wife, Marion, was very understanding about this. <laughs> it took a while to find six that included just the right amount of poetry in language that did not exceed a PG-13 level. But the more I read these six, the more real these people became to me. I got the feeling that even New York City could seem like a small village if one were alone but earnestly looking. So here is Voices from the Village, a cycle of songs on personal ads from the New York Times and the Village Voice. Thank you. Fun and general. 
don't want much. Just the love of my life. One eight seven five.
precious. <laughs>
Monica yes. Bell. Yes. I was wandering lost in the forest of creativity and Monica swooped down and helped me find my way and together we built a sweet little cottage for these extraordinary pieces by John. And I'd also like to thank my significant other, Davis, who is my incredible supporter and very patient rehearsal audience, <laughs> and my chief uh, maintenance man, as, uh, as he says, he, he keeps me, uh, keeps my engine from overheating. <laughs> so please tremendous countless opportunities to share the joy of performing. Thank you.